We're going to be showing in this video uh, what we call a double take knee drop. And really, what you're doing is pursuing your opponent. And in the white gi is Kyle Elliott, and the blue gi is Kelvin Nicely. And they're training over here with Kenny Brink at uh, Welcome Mat at Kansas City North Community Center tonight. And uh, what we're just training, training on the knee drop tonight. And what we're doing specifically here is, is attacking first with a knee drop. Your opponent cuts, it does a hip block and cuts away, tries to escape, and you pursue him. And we call it a double take because it's basically two knee drops in a row, two things like in a row. Like uh, if you're a guy and you see a pretty girl, you look at her once and you take a double take because she's so pretty you see it again. Well, that's what this is, okay? You hit the first knee drop and he stops it, come in a second time, and you can see there you go. You had cork him. Here you cork him and you throw him. This is good if the guy cuts, does a hit block and cuts away and you pursue or if he hit blocks and cuts away and tries to hop around, he even gets set up deeper. See that cut? And there's that pursuit. Kelvin's thrown, or the guy in the blue, Kelvin has thrown a lot of people with this in competition over the years. He's been very successful this throw. He's a national masters champion in both uh, USA Judo and AAU. And he's competed in Canada, Canada internationally for the US and stuff. So he's he's been around a long time and he's caught a lot of people with this. So it, it has a great, uh, ratio of success. The key thing here is is make sure you when you attack your first when you're on your toes you're spinning in tight and you come in deep. See that? And that's how it works. Don't just do the flop and drop and think it's going to work. You have to have a real aggressive first attack and react to it. So it's a first attack, react and hit again. So that's why we call it a double take. Two throws in a row is a very strong combination. Combinations really work when you elicit a response if you're the attacker from your opponent. So the, uh, the response Tori's wanting to get from Uki in this case is to cut or hop around and then you hit him again. Bam. And see, how, see how that was a moving, very dynamic action? They're not just going to stand there and let you throw them. They're going to be moving away, so you have to learn how to pursue. So the art and science, but it's an art too, of uh, the knee drop, double take, is to pursue the opponent. And you can see these guys are doing a really good job of it tonight. They're both skilled athletes and both have uh, good knee drop sayonagis. And that's what the guys are kind of doing tonight in practice. One more minute! Okay, you can hear Kenny Brink saying one more minute. And cut and an attack. And you have to do a lot of repetitions with a good willing partner, a lot of give and take, and that's how, that's how you develop good techniques. In this case, we're not using crash pads because the crash pads would impede us. We want to get the full movement. We want to, this, is a, this is very much relying on a, a movement of the opponent as well as your movement. And remember, a good kazushi or good unbalancing comes from movement. And you can see the setup is the first attack. That, that cuts the kazushi. And the uh, double take, the actual throw, comes along. It's a good hard pursuit. pursuit. And he threw a little coach in there to spice things up. So you kind of get the idea of a double take knee drop. And again, it's a good idea if you heard of chain wrestling, a lot of you wrestlers. This is chain judo. This is connecting things together. It's linking attacks together. In this case, two knee drops. Come in, and there, he, that was a sweet one. Even threw a little coach in there. So you can see you can add, add things, make it work for you. So there you have it, uh, double take knee drop.